Hey guys, it's me Crazy Wombat here. You know, I got all these packages because uh, I got a problem with ordering Pokemon cards off the internet. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm going to be opening up some packages. I don't really remember what I ordered. Um, slash, there's a couple other things that went on throughout the week that I would like to talk about as far as, um, as, far as that's concerned. So, anyways, guys, uh, stick around. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and stick around for the giveaway entry um, for this video. So, yeah, I'm Crazy Wombat. Let's get into it. All right. So, I got a couple smaller packages first that will uh, will just go like smallest to biggest packages, and um, some of these just might be like singles. And then I got some packages that seem like they have a lot of cards in them. So, this was just one card in this envelope. Single envelope, and let's see what it is. It's a World Championship card. 2015. Um, got the nice, like, ship wheel um, back. And the card seems like it's got some whitening on the corners and on the edges. So, like, some uh, light play there, but, like... So far, the back looks pretty good, and I love this because I live in a beach town. I'm going to try to collect more of the 2015 World Championship um, cards because I love this back. This back is awesome. Uh, so anyways, without further ado, we have Blastoise, and that's signed right there um, by the artist. And I forget who this... Uh, or I don't remember what that signature is because... I'm going to have to look into this because there it says right down there who the illustrator is. Um, but I know that was a big deal for whatever whatever reason. So, no, nice non-hollow there. Blastoise, rare. Um, love me some Blastoise, so that's that. So next up we have this uh, package. It's another envelope and this one's got a little tape on it. It's uh a little bit better packaged than the last one, which was just an envelope, but it came in. Oh, good thing I opened this off camera because there is the packing slip in there. Which, I think I bought most of these packages off eBay, with the exception there is a Pokemon Railroad package. And there I go, opening the packing slip. Um, Alright, so let's see. I paid a total of, whoops, I'll go ahead and rip that. With shipping, uh, five eighty four for this. So um, we got you know some cardboard. We got some uh, masking tape on the outside, and we got some more World Championship cards. And like I said, I'm really excited about these uh, World Championship cards. I just think they're so cool and unique. They all have the different backs, like these ones here from 2008, 2009, 2008 again. Alright, so most of these are 2008 with the exception of that one. So we got Piplup, level 8, Voltorb, level 29, and these are from 2007, so a nice mid-era cards. Two different uh, Rolts um, uh, artworks there. Uh, Krilla, Blissey, and these are all signed too, you can see right there. Prinlup, another Blissey, Impelion, Toxicroak, Beedrill, and that one's a little beat up. Definitely heavy play on the Beedrill. And another Toxicroak, so, I don't know, five bucks for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... 13 mid-era cards, um, no hollows, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 rares, 7 rares, 7 rares, and they all have that, like, silver, um, border, look, there's a little peach, peach -a berry, that silver border that, um, we just didn't get until now on, um, with Scarlet and Violet. So it's cool to see that border um, on English cards um, pre Scarlet and Violet. So uh, next up I've got, let's do this, uh, oh that's Pokemon Railroad, let's save that for next. 
So next up, we got a box here. Um, let me open this off camera, kind of, for a second. Let me see. And I don't, I don't know what I'm getting myself into with this one. I don't know what I paid for this. If it has the packing slip or what exactly is going on. So uh, I don't know what what could be in this. So it looks like we have some uh, like bulk there, or we'll see. And we have the deck box. So I think uh, we'll get into this one first, um, or we'll try to at least with this painter's tape. Oy. All right, let's get on the other side. Whoops, and I broke the box a little bit, but it's all right. Nice, nice packaging here other than the painter's tape. And of course, painter's tape comes off easy, so I don't know why I went through all the trouble cutting it, but I did. And that's some heavy play Japanese card. We got that guy to start it off. And this looks like uh, vintage, so I'm just going to grab a stack here. And uh, we're going to go through it. So we got gold bat, electrode, and these are mm, moderate play to heavy play. And then uh, Diglett, some uh, old school energies, Ponyta, Bulbasaur mid-era from 2004, another 2004, Dark Radicate from... And these are all Wizards of the Coast cards, Look at Tongue. So I'm looking for a lot of these cards for my um, sets that I'm doing with uh, base set, Jungle, Fossil. Uh, so like base set, Voltorb right there. Um, I think there's Shadowless in this too now that I'm uh, remembering. But we'll see if we find any shadow Shadowless, Bulbasaur, just some bulk. Uh, commons and uncommons it seems like for the most part there were some of those rares like see there's a rare right there Pidgeotto um, from base set uh, Krabby, Mareep, uh, Persian from base set 2 uh, Magnemite, uh, oh and there's some uh, there's Sabrina's Jinx, Poliwhirl there's a uh, hollow in there too, Jumpluff so that's cool we get some hollows there's a Graveler that looks fake um, I'm going to have to compare that to another one. But again, like, you know, heavy play on that guy. Brox, Onyx, Meowth, Sandslash, Misty's Tentacle. Oh, and then there's some, uh, other language there. Pokemon de Base, Pistolet, Petard. I guess this is French. This seems French to me. So, very cool. I like some of those cards. I didn't even see if any of them other ones were in any other language so that's our first little stack there like I said we'll just go through them fast oh there's I saw another hollow Blaine's Growlithe Erica's Gloom again these are heavy play moderate play uh, there's nine tails uh, hollow Brock's Vulpix Lieutenant Surge's Sparrow uh, so a lot of these there's a reverse hollow camper heavy play with a crease unknown um, Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu and that actually looks like that's in uh, okay so no that's far from getting a 10 but uh, still pretty decent shape um, so that's sick this this package uh, is definitely exceeding my expectations as far as like what's in it. I love all this. Uh, there's first edition. Jeez. Oh, and there's, again, there's a, uh, these are in different languages. I think French. First edition French. Jungle. Paris. Les, les Pokemon de Fusine et Maritinet. Whatever. So, today's... Wow, that's so cool. Um... Today's giveaway thing is, um, you gotta post something about, like, this little opening right here. Like, whatever language you thought was cool, French, or what, uh, like, which, uh, pick, pick up did you think was cool? Like, there's a Alakazam from base set, but that, this thing is 
Sheesh. That's that thing has seen better days. Like which which card from this did you like? Did you like like the French first edition jungle? Did you like um you know the gym heroes or the base set or the rocket? Uh like which which uh vintage cards did you like the best? Let's just check through again real real quick, make sure we're not Mimi Toss. Ori Toad, Arbok, Arbok, that's English, Ekans, Sprofic, very cool, very cool, um, very cool opening, again, you know, not the greatest condition cards, but very, very, very cool, I'm glad I purchased that. That'll help out a lot of sets, and then there's some really, like, interesting uh, things in there as well. Um, oh, man. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I'll save that for last, maybe. Oh, uh, there's a Meowth first edition jungle in a different language. Dark Arbok Hollow looking actually, like, pretty decent. Like, I would say moderate play. Hollow Dark Arbok. Dedu. Growlithe. And shout out international fans. Shout out my fans from Malaysia and India. I see you guys being from Malaysia and India. Shout out you guys. Shout out Malaysia. Shout out India. Shout out Bulbasaur. Shout out Dark P Persian. Shout out Psyduck. Shout out Cutie Fly. That could be a fun um, uh, thing, too. You could also enter today's giveaway by shouting something out in the comments. Shout out something Pokemon-related. There's a Hitmonlee from uh, Fossil. Like, rare. That's sick. I don't, again, I don't think I like paid too much for this. Um, these cards. I gotta take a look and see. Again, Ghastly in another language. Vile Plume, not Vile Plume. Uh, Bell Sprout in another language. Sabrina's Mr. Mime. That guy. I mean, come on. That guy, Redondo Do. That's how you say Jigglypuff in. I'm assuming this is French. Rondudu. Jigglypuff. Rondudu. Oscillate, Cubone, the Dark Charmeleon from Rocket, Japanese. I think that's Japanese. That might be Korean. Evolvi. Oh shit. Zekrom. That's from Black and White era. That's sick. There's a Karangastag right there in a different language. In uh, German, Karangastag. When you guys see what's on the bottom already, right, there's Entei Black Star promo. It's in terrible condition, but, you know, there's an Entei Black Star promo. And last but not least, there's an Ancient Mew that's got a crease in it right in the middle. You guys see that crease? Right in the middle. Oh, that's a bad crease. Uh, this was advertised, though, that there was a crease in this card, specifically, and that these were, like, moderate play, heavy play cards, but, uh, hey, binder cards all day, binder cards all day, that's what these were, cards were bought for, or intended for, in the first place, um, so yeah, that's sick, some of those, some of those other rares, uh, definitely very happy opening this, this is, uh, some nice, nice surprises in there. I love the German French cards, the Mew, the Ente, the Kangaskhan, the Zekrom. Uh, the, there was uh, the Rododo. The uh, what was it? Hibon Lee, right? Um, some of the other rares that were in the other box. Uh, Electrode, like, yeah, that's sick. That's sick. That brought back a ton of memories because. And then, and then some, because I had, like, 
most of those cards, and then just adding the French and the, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, you know what, let's save that for last, that's a big one. Next up is a package from our friends over at Pokemon Railroad, and to do a little explanation of this package, um, I pull, they were selling packs of, um, what's the new set, Paldea Evolved, so, let's see, I think that's all my bulk from Paldea Evolved, some code cards, code cards! Um, but if you didn't hit anything better than a hollow, you got to spin a wheel, and so some of my prizes from that wheel were, well, we'll get into that in a second, um, and then there is, let's see here what this pack has in store, and these are my hits, I think, um, And then there's a pack of Paldea Evolved that I won separately. Uh, and these were my hits. So you got to win prizes too, like wheel spins. If you didn't hit the... Uh, you could also play Guess the Energy. So if you got the energy right, you could win things like wheel spins. So that's where that came from. Uh, that came from. And then some of my hits uh, and prizes that I got. You can see there, there's a Cyndaquil. There's that, uh, that gold card. Um, that was one of my hits, Chi UEX, that was one of my pulls from the prize game, and that was one of my hits there, and then I also hit a Tyranitar in the main pack, in the, um, Paldea Evolved pack, and so the guys from Pokemon Railroad reached out to me and they wanted to trade, so we traded, and what we came up with for that trade was this Azulf, uh, level X, from 2008 or 2010 World Championships, and as you, I've said before, um, collecting the World Championships cards right now. This Jirachi Hollow from uh, 2010, so that's sick. This Hitmon Top Hollow from Neo, sick. Um, Raikou here, Japanese uh, card that I've been chasing personally, um, and uh, Nitto King. So. Uh, I'm very happy uh, with that trade that I did with Pokemon Railroad. So for two cards, I traded that Tyranitar and another all art from Paldea Evolve. I can't quite remember what it's called, it's like Chun Lu or something like that. Or uh, so for two cards, I got five cards. Uh, some that I'm very very happy with: uh, the Hitmon Top, the Raikou, um, and the Nidoking King in particular. I do like the these other cards, especially since I am collecting the World Championships right now. And a Jirachi Hollow from mid-era. Very, very, very nice. Indeed, definitely happy with that trade. And then next, um, we have a pack of Paldea Evolved that I won off of Guess the Energy that I asked them to ship. And uh, let's see what we got. So there's our code card. All right. There's our Grass Energy. Delbird, Super Rod, Love Disc, Snoveler. That guy, that guy, Zellulus, Tyran Tyranitar, uh, Reverse Hollow, Clavel, Reverse Hollow, and a Lycanroc EX. And that's an awesome uh, hollow pattern on that Lycanroc EX there. You see the little uh, stars. Um, so very cool, very cool indeed. Um, almost a double banger, kind of, with the Tyranitar Reverse as like a regular rare. Um, I'll take that all day. And the Lycanroc EX as our hit there, so good deal, good deal indeed. And that pack came out of the hit pack for uh, Paldea Evolve, so, you know, it just made the odds just that better for that whatever that box was. I don't know if that box was finished or, or what, um, so... Let's see, was that all from Pokemon Railroad today? That's all from Pokemon Railroad today, guys. And then there was that bulk there... Uh, um, but yeah, good, nice trade indeed, 
Um, certainly appreciate it, and some good prizes, some good hits, always some great value there with Pokemon Railroad. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten big hits there. Another hit that I just pulled. Like, ah, I can't be anything more than happy. And some real great, real great, great, great value there with the Nitto King. Um, hollow from, uh, base set. Um, a little moderate play there, but, you know, that's kind of to be expected. And, again, it's a binder, binder card for me, trying to complete base set. Uh, Raikou there, great, great Japanese, uh, definitely, definitely near mint. Uh, Hip on top looks like in pretty good condition. Uh, maybe a little moderate play, but still very good. Um, so, yeah, thank you, Pokemon Railroad. I appreciate that very much. Last but not least, we have this big, thick guy. And uh, I thought I knew everything that was coming, and let's see what's in here. Okay, so this is packaged very well. So we had one package, and then now we have another package. Um, so again, I'm opening it off camera because I don't know. Uh, what and then it's packaged again so it was a package inside of a package inside of a package uh, and I can't make this stuff up guys and this video is going long but thank you for sticking with me oh and then inside that we have another package this is getting ridiculous and then inside that package there is another package and that's it on my packages um, Oh, and there's tape on here. Jesus, man, whoever packaged this really did a great job packaging, but it's almost annoying. But you know what I mean? Like, it's definitely a little annoying, this package. All right, finally got it open. That's like a, that was like an 80s uh, cassette tape box. And we got some world championship cards, so I'm going to just take a stack. And we're going to run through them quick, because I think it's a lot of trainers. Uh, Switch, Vulcaner, and these are from a little bit newer, 2019. Um, but again, they have those uh, silver borders, and these are in like pretty good condition. If I find some ones with good centering, uh, I might grade them. There's a Zeri Order or a GX. The Dene, there's Raichu and Alone Raichu tag team card. Uh, Topo Coco, Mew, Tapu Fini, Hoopa. I mean, good. I remember buying these um, Heavy Ball N, Team Plasma Ball. And again, just like very cool cards to see. Um, kind of a little bit more like mid-era for me. Personally, that one's not in great condition. The Crobat Jirachi, super cool Jirachi from, from 2005. And some of these are definitely different years. There's that, uh, 2015 one that I like a lot. Um, what's that? That's the, oh, that was a Crobat. That's a cool back. And I think that's why I like these, because just because the backs are different and um, pretty cool. So, pretty, pretty cool. Well, thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, I appreciate it. This was a long video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you made it this far. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.